so as part of uh, getting top end priced products um, within each category first let us preview the data and let us extract uh, the collection from one of the record so that we can actually use collection apis to get whatever we want okay so here uh, we have already used earlier also for each uh, product category id um, we got this tuple where the the first element is nothing but the product category id and the second element is of type collection i want to extract one of these collections into scala collection so that we can explore scala collection apis to get top end priced products within uh, one of the collections okay so you know there is a api called first which is a spark api to get the first record from the rdd not products dot first in this case i have to use products uh, group by category group by category dot first okay you can see that category id is 34 and then there is a collection so i i want to get this collection assigned to some variable so here i am saying val l equal to or val products equal to okay uh, products dot first so products dot first will give the tuple and i just want the collection i don't want the entire tuple so i can say dot underscore two which will give us the second element in the tuple which is nothing but collection it has to be products group by category okay now you can see products is of type iterable of string and this entire collection is assigned to it we can actually say products dot take off 10 dot for each println so products is a typical uh, uh, typical collection now. So let me use a different name just to avoid uh, the confusion between my uh, original uh, RDD, uh, which also created as products. And this one, let me rename it to something else. Otherwise it can cause some confusion later. Okay, so I'm pasting this again and then I'm going back To this and uh, let's name it as products uh, iterable okay and now i can say products iterable dot take off 10 dot for each print ln okay and you can see the elements and each record have the product category 34 and you can get the count also or you can get the size by using size because this is a typical scala collection you will not find a count to get the uh, number of records we have to use size okay so products iterable dot size will give you the number of records we have 24 out of these things i just want to get the top five priced products that uh, we have to develop that logic okay um, and uh, let us start developing that so here I will be creating the function def get top n products. It takes two arguments. One, the first one is collection. Okay. And let me name it as products iterable. And it is of type iterable of string. And the second one is top n, which is of type integer. So I have to pass these two arguments to this function. Return type. We will determine later what we should return. Okay. Uh, actually, we should return array. Again, we have to return iterable of string only. So let's define the return type also. Iterable of string because um, we have to get top end pro top end priced products, right? So uh, which is nothing but array. We we, we need to return a collection uh, as output for this function. So here the return type is iterable of string okay now products iterable is of type collection so to get top five priced products first we need to understand what are the top five uh, prices okay so as part of this video we will limit to get up to the logic where we can actually get uh, top five products uh, sorry top, top five prices how we can do that 
again instead of developing here uh, i will first test as part of repl and then we will um, uh, go back and uh, embed that as part of our function so if you look at product citable okay from this i want to get top 5 product prices which are unique i don't want everything i just if i pass 5 it has to return top 5 priced products for that i have to extract the price as float and then i have to sort eliminate duplicates um, and only get five records so that's how i can get top five price, uh, top five products uh, top five product prices so uh, on top of products i trouble okay it's a typical scala collection and if you hit tab you, you will see all the apis that are available if i want to extract the price discarding rest of the information we can use map api okay so i can use map and p is the variable name here p implies p dot split comma is the delimiter and then the fifth element is the price and it is of type float so i have to type as it to it to float it will give all the prices from our input data set you can see here and it is of type list right so to get top five pri top five prices from this list first we have to eliminate duplicates how can we eliminate duplicates we can just say two set and it eliminate the duplicates and we got 1234567 seven prices and out of these things i just need uh, five top ones so after converting to the set let me create a variable val product prices okay and if you say product prices dot and hit a tab okay uh, to, we already eliminated the duplicates we have to get uh, top five priced products as uh, a top five prices okay um so the top five prices are 169 149 139 129 and 99 we have to discard 59 and 34 99 so for that first we need to sort the data and then we can apply take but to sort the data there is no sort api on this set we converted the list to set because we want to eliminate the duplicates now the duplicates are eliminated but on the set there is no sorting uh, there is no api to sort okay to sort it again you can convert into a list so here i am saying dot to list okay and after converting to list if you if you hit dot and hit tab you have sort by you have sort with you have sorted etc sorted can be used to sort the data in natural order which will be ascending order to change the way you want to sort the data either you have to use sort by or sort with sort with is for much more advanced uh, uh, sorting logic in this case we can use sort by okay and if you use sort by and um, it takes a function as argument okay, okay. and um, that function takes one uh, parameter and returns uh, uh, a value based on the logic on which we want to sort in this case for each price p i just want to negate and sort the data in descending order now you see data is sorted in descending order this negation will work for all numeric types and now if i have to get top five uh, prices i just have to say dot take of five and then hit enter now you got the top five prices so now let us try to embed this logic as part of our program okay first i am creating this variable copy paste and then i want to use this logic also and assign it to a variable 
val top n slices equal to here this will be passed as argument so i'm saying top n okay now top n prices will give us the prices uh, the top uh, top n prices in descending order and now we can iterate through our data uh, which is our original collection product iterable look up into these uh, uh, top five prices and if if there is a match between the two we will return as one of the top and priced products otherwise we will discard and we will develop that logic as part of the next topic